setting for you? Yeah, I've got four years of find another job, haven't I? Is that, uh, what was it like being in that meeting? <laughs> news you don't really want to hear, to be honest. What do you, is. What do you feel about you Mike Devereaux saying? there? Like yesterday he said no decision. What do you think of the bloke? No. You're just in shock, mate. I don't know what to say. It's terrible news, but another bit of manufacturing is going out the back door. What are Australians going to be doing in the future? And everything's fine. What do you do for me? I work in Tyrone Room. What are you going to do now? Oh, from here? Yeah. We'll probably look at retirement. Yeah. What was okay. it like in that meeting there? That, what was the mood? Oh, very sombre. Yeah. yeah. What do you want to say to the federal government in this case? Well, I think it's all been said. You know, they're not new at this. Hey, guys, we're on the road. What do you want to say to direct your anger? Do you, are you frustrated with well, the government? I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed that in this country, we're a resource rich country, and we're in this situation now. And manufacturing is just going out the door. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm upset about it. What's your take on Mike Devereux yesterday standing up and saying no decision's been made, and then less than 24 hours there is? Well, yeah. it is what it is. I mean, I, I speak to Mike Devereux like I'm talking to you now. So, you yeah. know. Add to that. What about the company? What's your message to the company? Do you think you've strung along a bit too long? Or? Well, I would have thought that you know it's it's a numbers game. GM know what they want, the Feds know what they want, and when the magic number was set, it should have been clear cut right there and then. We're staying or we're going. Do you feel like you've been strung along? No, not really, because it is difficult. But it's it's disappointing that we knew this was going to come. But we didn't think it would come that quick. And now that it has come, you know, there are a lot of people hurting over it. And you think of the young people there with mortgages and young families, in four years' time, they're going to make a big change. So, yeah. Have you got work for the next four years, have you been told? Well, we presume we're going to be working until we run out of the current, current cars.